Uh, Jacob says I had Imbor, Qrim, Zekrom, Superior, Ramperdos, and one more. Yo, know, it's so hard for me to remember, like, my exact teams. Alright, um, what item am I holding? Oh, Soft Sand. Yeah, that's not a bad item. Increase my damage output. Yeah, I should definitely go heal first. I don't have a lot of mud shots. <laughs> Bloodstains on Getsu only? Alright, let me put that on the list. Bloodstained. I'm not necessarily saying I'm guaranteed doing Bloodstain on Saturday, but... It's 12 hours, and Mega Man, Sonic, and Choice Chamber aren't going to do it all by themselves. Used to overuse Legends? Yeah, no, I... I, um... I... No, no, no. I used Legends a little bit. Like, I didn't use any of the trios in Gen 1. Like, I did not use Zapdos or Moltres or Articuno. Um... In Gen 2, I never caught Ho-Oh or Lugia. So, couldn't use them. I didn't I didn't catch the dogs either, not as a kid. Um, Gen 3? Yeah, Gen 3, I definitely used Kyogre. He was like one of my favorite Pokemon at the time because of uh his ability that made it rain. I thought that was really cool, but again, my first playthrough, I'm pretty sure I did it pure Blaziken. But on another playthrough I used Kyogre. It should be fun. Um, and Gen 4, yeah, I think I used Palkia a little bit here and there. Like, Empoleon was still the MVP, and, uh, followed by, actually, no, Gyarados was the MVP, Empoleon was behind that, and then, yeah, Palkia would hang out. Um, Gen 5, I did not use the Gen 5 one. Like, I think I did have him on my team, but I didn't really use him. Oh, Rollout, that's rude. Such a fast Pokemon. Critical hit, poor damage. Uh, Gen 6. Um, what are the legends in Gen 6? That is. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I didn't use the Gen 6 legendaries. Gen 7, I did use Nebby. It was really hard, because, like, you get Nebby, and she's like, I want Nebby to go with you, and, you know, be able to see the world for what it really is, and not just live in that bag anymore. And I was like, Alright, Nebby, you're coming with me, Nebby, you're gonna see the world. And I can tell us it's Vanks, why have you not watched Facts of the Future? I keep forgetting! I keep forgetting Catrolius. I always forget. I'll be like, man, I need to watch something. What should I watch? And then, like, I'm like, ah, I've watched all the cool animes. Um, I'm almost finished on Luke Cage. The second season of Luke Cage came out. It's really, really nice. Um, I have, like, one or two episodes left. And then, um, yeah. I'll be all out of Netflix after that. I watch so many comedians, I don't even think they're that much in- Uh, that- I don't think they're that interesting. But, I need something to watch. <laughs> watch Back to the Future! Yeah, will do, will do. Um, let's see. Worf was saying, um... But it learned Lear at, like, level 40? <laughs> Yo, I know, right? Yo, some of them Pokemon are just, like, so bleh. Uh, Invisible saying thanks, I'll toss it out he uh, there. You could play Battle Kid up to boss number one if you want. Alright, I'll put Battle Kid on the list. I'm not saying I'm definitely playing Battle Kid. I'm just saying I'm putting it on the list so I can, you know, think about what I'm playing. Uh, Mudsport? I don't want that garbage. Yeah, I didn't need to level the 24. 23 was good enough. The mud shot's just too good. You never use status or stat moves, Jagalobes? Um, I did. That's right. I remember now. When I did Generation 3, I would use Bulk Up. I thought Bulk Up was, like, the coolest move in the world. So I'd usually, like... I would start the uh, round using bulk up, like up to six times. Then I would like, you know, I'd continually heal with the items as needed. And then once I had like all the bulk ups or as many bulk ups as I thought I needed, I would just sky uppercut everything. Sky uppercut everything, man. You never tried to capture the legendary because it takes too long. You just defeat it or run away. Yo, man, I didn't capture the legendaries in Gen One or Two. Like I never caught Mewtwo. Um, I never caught, like, I think I caught a couple of the birds, 
I want to say I caught Moltres, but I don't think I caught Articuno or Zapdos. I might have got Articuno. I remember going through the islands. It's hard to say. Wait, I still haven't gotten the bike yet. Let's go do that. But, um, yeah, Gen 3 is when I actually started going for, uh, Legendaries. Like, I caught all the Regis. All the Regis, man. I needed them. <laughs> See the world of boxes? Nah, no, man. Like, I could boot up my Pokemon Moon right now. Nebby's still in my party. <laughs> and Vizza says, yeah, no, it's just there on the list. Thanks. Yep. Charlie says, you could watch the first season of Chroma Squad. <laughs> Alright, let's put Chroma Squad on the list, too. Chroma Squad. Alright, and then what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, my bike. One bike, please. Nera says, moves that don't do damage. Who cares about that, <laughs> younger me? Yeah, no, nah, man. I was, I was like that till Generation 3. Because, yeah, Gen 1 and Gen 2, like Growl and Tail Whip, Defense Curl, those were all dumb. Until I played Pokemon Stadium 2, and there was, um, there was this, like, Pokemon College or Pokemon School thing or whatever, and there was all this Pokemon trivia. And, like, one of the things, like, tells you how, um, if you use Defense Curl before you do Rollout, it doubles the damage. And I was like, what? This is the coolest thing in the whole world. And then, like, any time at a Pokemon that knew both Defense Curl and Rollout, it was done, man. It was done. I needed it. Alright, who should I be leveling now? I should, I should just still be leveling Marsh Stomp, I think. But I should also have a backup Pokemon. Who's gonna fight Camerupt? That Camerupt uh, knocked me out last time. I don't want to risk Marsh Tomp a second time. We'll figure it out. Yeah, what's the new level cap? Yeah, we're going through this game so much faster today than how I normally do, so this is really good. Yo, I'm gonna have to start <laughs> speedrunning Gen 3, obviously. I know the game too well at this point. Um. Flannery, that's her name. Good old Flannery. The Lava Ridge Gym. Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, show me the Flannery, alright. So she has, um, level 29. Level 29 is the new cap. Easy peasy, I can do that. <laughs> By watch, you obviously mean play. Yeah, I, I think I could pick that up. Uh, Jay Globe says, Yeah, my first time playing Pokemon. I just wanted to attack everything with whatever you could find. You're extremely hyped for the legends. And yeah, 29 is that cat. For saying, uh, one time I used Metronome, I <laughs> used Slash, and I killed whatever I was battling. But I thought it said Splash, and I used to leave Splash on Gyarados because I thought it was a one hit KO move. <laughs> Oh, no, man. Yeah, that stuff happens. You sometimes misunderstand what's happening. Yo, MC the Ninja says, you're making pretty good time. 43 hours, almost 44. I know, right? Yo, clearly I'm, like, the best speedrunner for, like, Pokemon in the world. What's the world record for this game? The world record for Sapphire is probably something like, I don't know, two months? It's probably, like, two months. That's usually how long it takes to beat the game, right? Yo, get out of here, Zigzag. Nobody asked for you. Oh yeah, with the camera up. It's a fire ground type Pokemon. Uh, what do I have in my party? My Ina's not the answer. He dies to like the wind blowing on him. Um, a bug is not a good option. Tenth Palper. That's who it is. That's who we need to be leveling up. Yeah, if we have a Pelipper, dude. Because, uh, yeah, no, man. He can't be hit by any ground-type attacks. And Pelipper's pretty bulky. That's what I need to do. The <laughs> world record, Vinks, not your record? Get out of here, Catrolius. Oh, man. Use Oddish? Oddish is not the answer to fighting camera up. Oddish is not the answer. No, no, no. Pelipper is the way, man. I forgot I had a Pelipper. I haven't been leveling 
Pokemon that I haven't needed. It's like, that's generally just how I do in my Nuzlocke's. Like, because I don't like to waste time, so I will level up the Pokemon that I need to win the gym fights, and then just move on from there. Um, the downside is if anything goes wrong, you know, like say I'm missing attacks or they're getting critical hits, then yeah, no, nah, like, that's a game over really easy, uh, really easily. But, um, I'm not gonna bother grinding, I don't think. Oh, and hey, for Cracks Evolving, let's go. Yeah, I don't think I'll bother, like, hardcore grinding until, um, we're doing Norman. Like, it depends. We'll see what, or what level Pelipper gets to, or Wingle. It's not Pelipper yet, but we'll see where he gets. Uh, Controller says, Dude, I always thought that Electric was super effective against Poison because of the cartoon. It was salty when you found out it wasn't. Yeah, rip, man. Oh, man. Watching, watching the cartoon, you gotta wonder why that Pikachu can't take out Onyx. So weird. Alright, yeah, sorry for crack, I'm gonna need that experience here. Give that to old boy. Hence Palper. Yeah, I have to go... Oh, wait, oh, wait. She has Pursuits. I can't send in a level 3 Pokemon against someone that knows Pursuit. Right, let's just do Marshawn. Uh, Jaglib says, yeah, you say that until Overheat comes out and crits Marsh Dump. Yo, Overheat critting Marsh Dump is not gonna take him out. No, sir. Not that good. Magnitude, though. Magnitude's a problem. But yeah, you can't hit Pelipper with Magnitude. It's impossible. It can Magnitude 9, and it can be, like, what should be a crit. But he's not gonna connect with it. I'm gonna use a flying type Pokemon against Camera up this time. Oh, wasn't I supposed to nickname it? Oh yeah, I forgot. I was supposed to name a Mud Skipper. I was supposed to do that when I went to Slate for it. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's go do that. I uh, <laughs> forget these things. Um, wasn't there a lady that wants me to, like, get them something? Yeah, she wants Harbor Mail. Let's go get her that. Yeah, let's switch these guys. Good to go. <laughs> My memory is hot garbage. That's nothing new. Yo, yeah, that is a very true quote. 100% true. Some of them quotes aren't as true as others. How do you like my raven-colored hair streams behind me? Threw my hair up just for that. <laughs> um, it's nice, I guess. Quote 24, it'll be fine. <laughs> when it won't be fine, no, it'll be fine! It's always fine. No worries, man. Got everything that we need in the bag. Except for Nebby. Nebby doesn't go in the bag. Nebby is free now. Hashtag free Nebby. Yo, goodbye, Magnemite. <laughs> goodbye! Yo, give me that XP. Is it good? Yeah, that's a really good XP for this level, man. Vote 109. <laughs> Moltres, this is Kanto. <laughs> what are you doing here? What? <laughs> I said that? Why did I say that? That's silly. I wonder what the context is. <laughs> did I really say that? I guess! That doesn't sound like a fake quote. It sounds real. I say some weird things sometimes. Ah, there's gotta be context. I just- but that, that's how quotes work, right? The quotes are supposed to take me out of context. Ah, oh, what what was I trying to say? What was my point? <laughs> Why was I upset about Moltres being in Kanto? I don't know. Uh, Tinsaku says you said it, but you accidentally said Kanto. Oh, <laughs> what was I trying to say? 
Oh, I was playing gold? Oh. Then yeah, no, it'd make more sense. This is Johto. What are you doing here? That makes more sense. Yo, Pokemon Gold is a good game, man. Super good. Yo, let's go, Tense Palloper. Go slowly but surely, man. Level him on up. Don't panic if your bike's going fast. I don't know, man. I would, uh, I'd be a little scared if my bike was going really fast. As a kid, man. Um, yeah, just switch Pokemon. Cause, yeah, no, I remember, like, when I was first learning how to ride a bike, yeah, I was with my, uh, grandpa. He was teaching me how to ride a bike. And, yeah, he took off the training wheels, you know, helping me to, like, you know, just, uh, what's the word, just balance on my bike. And, yeah, I was doing it, right? But, like, I was really scared to, like, break, because I was afraid of, like, falling off my bike and losing my balance. But I also was, like, heading straight towards a tree. Didn't know what to do. I just, I just went straight into the tree, man. It was, uh, <laughs> it wasn't very fun. And then, uh, aside from that, like, there was this hill that I would always go down with my bike, because I would get really bored. But when I started going down the hill, I was a little bit better at controlling my balance. But, um, yeah, nah, man. I would start going so fast, because you're going downhill. And, uh, there was this gate at the very end. So if I didn't feel secure in, like, trying to use my brakes, because I was worried the bike would, like, tip forward, I would just jump off my bike. Like, I, uh, I was all done. No, I'm not crashing into things anymore. I'll just jump off the bike. <laughs> Yo, quote 267. No, I wasn't paying any attention. Yeah, no, man. That was 12 days ago. Oh, man. Uh, which Pokemon was that? That was my, um... Was that my Gyarados? Yo, my Gyarados didn't deserve that. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that was Gyarados J Gloops. Had to have been. Charlie says you had left a Pokemon in against its weakness. It was something you were trying to raise. Oh, was it that? Um that wasn't my Ina. Who else did we lose? Um I don't know! It was the bug? Oh, Loomis? Loomis is a stupid bug anyways. I mean, oh no! Oh, the bug ground? Not my Ninkata! Oh man! Ah, oh, Ninkata. It was gonna be a ninja ask. And it could have been a shit ninja, but I didn't want to do the shit ninja because I thought it might have made some fights too easy. But oh, I really wanted that ninja ask. Oh, yeah, nah. That that makes sense why I was upset. Cause you're like, you know, you said bug Pokemon. I think Illumis. Loomis, whatever, man. Sometimes you gotta sack a Pokemon. <laughs> Ninkata? No, not Ninkata. Such a good little guy. Didn't deserve it. You're trying to raise it to fight the next gym? Yeah. Yeah, no, man. Cause yeah, I was trying to beat Watson, right? Cause Watson's stupid OP, man. Watson's a stupid gym leader. I don't like him. Cause like, with Marsh Stomp, it was super easy. Like, obviously, we just kind of mashed A and we went through the full gym. No problems. But without, without Marsh Stomp, man, he's beating me both times, man. His gym's ridiculous. It's the Magneton, right? Because, I mean, yeah, part of it is the Manetric. It's level 24. It's a pretty strong Pokemon. It's got good stats. It's, uh, you know, its stat moves hurt really bad. That Magneton is just steel type. And I can't deal damage any of my Pokemon. I need something to be able to beat him. How'd I lose the other times? Um, the very first time I fought him, I underestimated... Or, yeah, I underestimated Watson because I was looking at the wrong guide. I thought that he had three Pokemon, he had four. And so, um, when he sent out the Manetric, I just wasn't ready for it at all. So he kind of just swept my team. The second time, he paralyzed my, um, Combuskin. 
I wasn't expecting to get uh, paralyzed turn one, but yeah, he sent out Voltorb. The Voltorb outsped my Combuskin. Hit me with Spark, I think, which has a 30% chance to paralyze. And that was that, man. It is what it is. That was, that was GG. I should have had a Paralyze, Cure Berry, whatever that is. It's not Chesto. Chesto's Sleep, Rost is Burn. Mm, cherry? Yeah, I think it's a Cherry Berry. Cherry was what I was looking for. So, I don't want this. I wanted to go to the Pokemart, that's what it was. Makuhita would wreck that? Yeah, man, I wish I had a Makuhita. I never catch him. Yeah, every time I try to catch a Makuhita, I get like Zubat instead, or I accidentally faint him. Yeah, because this is my seventh attempt, man. I've had seven attempts at a Makuhita. I've succeeded zero times. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab two more potions. Um, antidotes? Yeah, let's take three of those. I wanted the name raider? Yeah, I'll do that. Um, let's have a couple of repels for the road. Alright. Where are you, name raider? Show thine self! It must be this building. It's got a sign next to it. It's an old man! And he's the name raider. I'm the best. Alright, you're supposed to name all your Pokemon in Nuzlocke. I accidentally said no to naming Marsh Stomp. We're gonna fix that. His name... ...is Mudskipper. Perfect! Let's go, Mudskipper. Nothing can stop us now. Did I yell at the Pokemon Center? Uh, looks like it. Now, let me check. I do have uses of, a uh, Mudshot, right? Yeah, 15 out of 15. Perfect! It, uh, feels weird selling all your revives? Yeah, man. But it's like, in a Nuzlocke, your revives are just useless. They don't do anything. Might as well. Do you fight me? Nope. Alright, so we fought all the trainers here. Wingle's still got a little bit to go. Yo, I really wish this route was broken up into two routes. It gave me that chance, man, at an Electric-type Pokémon. But nope, no Electric-types for me, man, at least not now. I'll get a second chance when we get to, um, go to old, uh, Mallville. Just to name all of them, including the tentacles? Yes. Oh, whoops. I just ran right into them. How are we doing, everybody? Yeah, I prefer to do single battles so I can, like, really focus all the experience into one Pokémon. But meh, this is alright. Yeah, since Pelipper is not staying in, he is level 11. Poor little guy. <laughs> You're naming your tentacles numbers? Yo, that works, man. Cause yeah, it's tough. Like, for me, when it comes to naming Pokémon, like, so far, what I've been doing for this Nuzlocke, as I've been naming Pokemon mostly off of just what we've been talking about at the time. Um, other naming conventions I've tried using to help me come up with names. I've tried naming Pokemon colors. I've named Pokemon uh, Zelda references. I've named them Star Wars references. Um, I don't know. I always try to find a theme for my Nuzlocke, and that's usually what I do. Patrolli says, dude, Fire Red Generations has betrayed me. Yo, what happened, man? What's, uh, what did the Fire Red Generations do? Why the betrayal? And yo, quote 223, I don't know what I'm doing. And yo, that was, uh, April 17th? What was I playing then? Let me see. Um, April 17th. The fighting gym isn't a fighting gym anymore? Huh, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, rest in peace fighting gym. 
The 17th was Mike Tyson's punch out. Oh man. Yeah, Mike Tyson's punch out was way OP, man. Way too hard. Yeah, I wonder which uh, person that was up against. Like, it could have been Mike Tyson himself. Or no, not on the 17th. I didn't fight him until the 18th, I don't think. But yeah, no, some of those guys were super duper hard. Do you think I can beat the Shroomish? I don't know, it's a five level gap. I mean, I could try, right? Let's try. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna miss the Supersonic. And they tackle me and make me realize I don't have a chance. Alright, <laughs> okay. You know, I, I just wanted to, you know, give it an attempt. It was probably Soda. Oh, yeah, that's right, I remember. Oh, oops, <laughs> I forget about uh, the matchup there. Kinda has a times four advantage. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Let me be on my way. But, uh, yeah, Soda Popinski, I would get to him. And he would usually knock me out, like, in less than a minute. He was way OP at the time, until I figured out how he worked. When was there a fighting gym? You remember the dojo, but not a gym? Well, like, the way the story goes, it was a gym, but then a second gym moved in, and uh, they took over and became the official gym. Yeah, it's never been an official gym in the games. But supposedly in the past it was. Sabrina crushed them because psychic types cheat. Yep, exactly. Yo, Sabrina, man, she is, oh, she is way OP. Like, be it in a speed run, or uh, apparently in a Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke, I'm told she's, like, really, really tough. Yo, second chance. It's time for a week to water. I'm giving it a shot. All right, Ember, that's fine. Ow. I can't miss water again. I feel confident. I feel confident! Nyo's also saying, hello Vex! I'm bumming on WoW and having loads of fun! <laughs> Yo, that's great, Zatsu! Glad to hear it. I mean, isn't that the most interesting thing in World of Warcraft? Farming? I mean, that's, uh, personally, I would farm, like, uh, Generally about 8 hours a day, minimum, every day, when I used to play like Wrath of the Lich King. And then I stopped playing because I ha was just having so much fun. <laughs> I was having so much fun. You're farming for green fire stuff? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you're not prepared, Catrolius? Yeah, rip, man. So yeah, what did they do to the fighting type gym? For 216, I will admit, all breakfast foods are awesome. Yo, that is so true, man. Like, pancakes, french toast, bacon, eggs, like, be them, like, scrambled, uh, over easy, sunny side up, like, whatever, man. Eggs are pretty amazing. Um, what else is super good? I don't know, a lot of things are super good. Did I fight this family? Can I beat them up? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. You may have changed the type, and the final fight is doubly difficult? Oh, jeez, man. Rest in peace. Oh, it's Taylor. Hello, Taylor. How are you doing, lovely? Oh, the Warlock Greenfire stuff? Yo, got to, Zatsu. Uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about breakfast foods. Let's see. I already said bacon, eggs, french toast, pancakes, waffles. I forgot waffles. Waffles are pretty good too. Um, like it depends on like how said pancakes, waffles, or french toast are done. Sometimes they need syrup, but I'm not against not having syrup. Sometimes like say if I have like, if I have cinnamon french toast, like cinnamon flavored, and it has like powdered sugar. Sometimes I don't want syrup because it takes away too much from the cinnamon and the sugar. And I mean, syrup's practically sugar already. And then it's uh, it's kind of the same with pancakes. 
Like, I really like apple pancakes, which I guess maybe that sounds a little weird, but nah, man. Apple pancakes are so good. Oh, especially with, like, a little bit of vanilla extract as well. So yeah, vanilla, apple pancakes. Really, really good. And then waffles? I haven't really tried too many- Oh, you're a grass-type Pokémon. I'm gonna swap. But yeah, I haven't tried too many different, like, flavors or whatever of waffles or too many different recipes. <laughs> Mostly just, you know, waffles. It is what it is. Your know, says, have I evolved yet? Yes. And, um, come to the south for the grits and oatmeal? Oh yeah, oatmeal's pretty good. I like oatmeal. Is there a such thing as apple pancakes? Yeah, literally, what you do, right, is you just cut an apple into really, 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 really tiny pieces. And yeah, you mix that in with the batter, and it is so good, man. I'm telling you. It is the best. Have I had shrimp and grits? Grits? I don't even know what grits are. But I, I have tried shrimp. I think shrimp is very, very delicious. Um, it has been a long time since I've been in, like, a Japanese restaurant. But, man, the few times I have, dude, in a... Like, where they, they would, like, cook the shrimp right in front of me, man. Oh, dude. Like, I'm getting so hungry just thinking about it. Don't know what grits are. Not really. Is it something like oatmeal? You don't understand this concept? I don't know, man. You got me. And yo, Legend with the host. Yo, thanks for the host, Legends. <laughs> yo, Wikipedia grits. Let's see. Um, it is a porridge, um, made from corn that is ground into a coarse meal and then boiled. Hominy grits is a type of grits made from hominy corn that has been treated, uh, within alkali in a process called nixtamalization, the cereal germ removed. Uh, grits is often served with other flavorings. Oh my. Oh, so it's it's just porridge then. I don't know. When I think porridge, isn't that just the same thing? It's like oatmeal? I wanna say it's the same thing. What's the difference? It's eaten in the south primarily. Fair enough. Like, um, I was born uh pretty far up north. And I technically live in the South now, but... I've lived in the South for, like, over 10 years. I've lived in the South way longer than I've lived in the North. I grew up in the South. But... I don't... I don't know what uh, grits are. Oatmeal is thicker? Okay. Oatmeal is made of oats like bread, while grits is ground? Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I don't think I've ever had grits. I don't think so. It's less sweet? Yo, fair enough. I like things that are sweet. Do I know what... No, I have no idea what that is. For a second I thought that said Poi Pole, and I was like, yeah, Poi Pole, that's that, um... Pokémon, the one that came out on Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. <laughs> but then I saw it said something else. I have no idea what that is for crack. Um, I don't need the Macho Brace. I didn't use it last time. Yo, Legend saying, hey guys! Yo, what up, Legend? Yo, you were doing something. You were streaming today. What were you doing? Were you doing, um... A Pokemon speed run? Or a Legend of Zelda randomizer? <laughs> you can see which one I'm more enthusiastic about. Well, I have to go deep in the south? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm deep south. Like, where I live is, uh, technically south. Oh yeah, the Rock Smash guy. Forgot to go get that. Who am I gonna teach Rock Smash to? <laughs> Dude, don't knock the rando. Yo, man. I'm not trying to hate on randomizers or anything. Like, Zelda randomizers can be cool. I prefer watching them to playing them myself. Cause like, I don't know what it is. I'm not huge into ROM hacks. I'm really not. Personally, I enjoy the core experience of a game a lot more than uh, alterations of it. Uh, the randomizer is okay. 
Like, I'll do it. It's a little bit of fun, but I would much rather just play through normal Zelda. To do a random run, Banks, it's fun. I've done so many randos, man. And, um, last place, Larry. Oh my goodness, he used to come into my stream, like, almost like every single day. Banks, do a rando. Banks, do a rando. Banks, why aren't you doing a rando? And specifically for him and nobody else. I did multiple randomizers, man, just to keep him happy. And yeah, nah, like, I don't like it. I, I don't think it's that fun. I mean, it's not that I dislike it. It's just, it's really not that enjoyable to me. <laughs> Vex to a rando. Vex, go home. Go home, Vex. Uh, for Crack was saying, it's pretty much inflated rice. Mash until it is dust and you can eat it as is, or as a condiment. Okay, interesting. I've never heard of that before. Or even, uh, sold in restaurants? Oh, yeah? Greater than pancakes. I don't know about that, man. Pancakes are pretty top tier. IHOP has grits? Yeah, I've been to IHOP a few times, but I've never ordered grits. I don't think I even noticed it on there. I mean, normally I open up the menu, I'm like, ah, there's the French toast, and I just order that. I love French toast. Out of, like, French toast, pancakes, and waffles, French toast is number one, followed by pancakes, and then waffles is definitely at the bottom of the list, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I still really, really like waffles. Now, if Craig was saying, uh, Pinoli is Mexican, it was made by the pre-Hispanic civilizations? Oh, okay. And, uh, Controller says, grits are a way of life in Louisiana. I'm down that way. Now, order a side of grits next time you go to IHOP, they make a decent version. Okay. Yo, I do need to go to IHOP, it's been too long. I should try to do that this week, actually. I think that would be fun. It has corn flour in it? Okay. Yo, corn flour is legit. Alright, they want to interview! Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet, go. Um, our battle was... Um... It was... Uh, alright. <laughs> it was, it was alright, I guess. <laughs> I was mostly just mashing A while reading chat. See you later! <laughs> Is it over? The battle with the interview people, yeah. I gave my interview, they asked me. Is it alright? Yeah. And um, let's see, what are we saying? Just put cheese in it, and there you go. Oh, for the grits? Ah, it's a grass type, get out of there. Oh, did the stream die? Am I not live? It says I'm live. Can I see myself? Yeah, I can see myself. Are we good? Is my internet connection stable? Yeah, it says I have an excellent stream health. It should be fine. Yeah, Tintoctrices seems good. You've never heard Flower described as legit? Yo, it's legit. But it says he's offline? Huh, that's weird. Yo, try refreshing, guys. Which says... I... Have an excellent connection. Uh, Legend says I refreshed twice on my phone and PC. Nothing is showing up. Ah, uh. <laughs> Twitch, why? Why is this happening to both Blessed Cows and Legends? That's two people. Yo, what regions are y'all? Right, blessed and legends. Uh, let's go with the sense for. Are y'all in the same region? And can you watch other streams? I don't. I don't know what's going on. Let's use morning sun though. How did Meryl get its HP back? Meryl doesn't have an absorb. What's going on? Uh, for Crack says, usually my stream sucks, but today it works. And you're in Kalos? Yo, Kalos is a cool place. 
Oh, Leech Seed is still on me. Okay, interesting. Ooh, roll out. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good! It appears to be a widespread issue? Okay, okay. You know, what's going on, Twitch? You gotta, you gotta fix some stuff. Alright, alright. The Meryl's paralyzed. Bam! Yo, I love that, man. I love that. Cause, like, the rollout, if it keeps going, the damage increases. But, paralysis pretty much gives me a very good chance of not taking the full damage of the rollout. We good, man. We good. Legend says I popped into another chat that was having the same problem? Okay. Yo, Twitch! What are you doing, man? Fix your servers! I mean, Twitch is... Uh, because, you know, I'm a good Twitch streamer here. But yeah, no, nah, man. Like, Twitch is obviously looking into the problem. You know, uh... Twitch is currently doing- there's that whole GDQ thing going on, I'm sure Twitch is currently seeing a high volume of watchers that they are not usually accustomed to having to deal with. Perhaps that is causing some small connectivity issues in certain areas, I am sure it is the minority, and Twitch is on it right now. Easy peasy. Stream isn't working, like other streams. Yeah, rip. <laughs> Blessed by cows, I'm sorry. It seems to be working for everyone else. It seems to be working for everyone but you and the legend. There we go. That's so weird, man. Hashtag blame Twitch. Can I get some hashtag blame twitches in chat? I would appreciate it. Hashtag blame twitch. <laughs> blame banks, Charlie, that's the opposite. The opposite of what I wanted to hear. Complete opposite. Yo, there we go. Say to it with the hashtag blame twitch. For crack in here with the hashtag blame twitch. Yo, good people, good people, man. I can count on them. They got my back. It says, um, another telltale sign that it's either Twitch or my internet is that badges aren't showing up half the time. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm starting to see the same thing. A lot of badges are, like, just missing. I don't know what's up with that. Hashtag Banks always breaks Twitch. Yo, I didn't break Twitch. It wasn't me. Here, you saw it for a second, too. Hashtag Blame J-Globes? No, nah, man, it's not J-Globes' fault. No, sir. Oh, I can catch a Pokemon here. Yo, uh, you can catch Machop in this area, can't you? Yo, a Machop would be so good, but the odds of Machop are so low. Yo, yeah, we'll see, man. Hopefully it's not another new mill. I really hope it's not another new mill. That would be cool. Um... Name the Machop after you. Yo, we'll see, Controlius. If I can catch a Machop, dude. I was hoping to catch the Makuhita earlier, but... Nah, man, we just caught a Zubat. Like, I just- I don't have, like, the luck odds, man. When, when it comes to me, I'm just gonna encounter whatever Pokémon is the most likely. Yeah, you're a Grass-type. I don't think he learns any Grass-type- no, 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 he knows Absorb. Get out of there, man. Get out of there, it's dangerous. Nature power? <laughs> Why is he doing all that? Legend says, I'm gonna go restart my router and see if anything works better. Yo, man, hopefully it does. Yo, we will see. Yeah, new mel? Yeah, I'm probably gonna get a new mel. Probably not gonna get a uh, Machop. I want the Machop, though. If I get the Machop, I'm gonna be so happy. Perfect says, okay, so I tried to hop into another stream. The stream was yours, but the chat and info was the other one. Blame Bings for helping Twitch break 2.0. <laughs> yeah, rip, man. Alright. Try to catch a Pokemon, guys. Let's catch a Pokemon. Oh. A. Oh, snap. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Yo, Mysterious Creek donated $1. 
<laughs> Name the fighting type after me. Come on, Bates. Yo. Petroleus, if I can, if I can do it. And it's a new mill, but hey, there's still a chance. There's a cave uh, just uh, next to here where you can also catch new mill, Torkoal, and Machop. So it's not, it's not done yet. It's not yet done. But I was really hoping I would catch him here. That would've been nice. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll tackle him. I don't think he can knock me out with the Ember. I'm too high level. Crack says, that doesn't say thanks, it says your real name. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I can see it says thanks. I got eyes. Um, Pokeball, here we go. Go in the ball. What am I naming this new mill, guys? What are we gonna name it? He's a little chubby. Yo, do you want to be the new mill, J Globes? Did I name him after you? I can do it. I can name him Banks? No, I'm not naming a Pokemon after myself. Silly. Yay. Globes. Toozy. Alright, it is what it is. Aglobes didn't respond fast enough if he, did, if he didn't want to be the new Mel. He's definitely a new Mel. Oh, I already fought her? I didn't realize. Alright, let's switch you back over there. <laughs> no, I said Torkoal. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Torkoal, no! <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, man. Yo, I'm hoping I don't catch the Torkoal. I want to catch a, um... I want to catch... What's its face? Machop. If all goes well, we'll encounter a Machop. Easy peasy. And zero Torkoals. Because, like, Torkoal is, like, not useful, because I already have the new mill. And in my opinion, Camerupt's a better Pokémon. Because, like, Camerupt... His fire round type. He learns pretty good moves. His stats are pretty amazing. I'm pretty sure he has better stats than Torkoal does. Oh, I could have used uh, Palper for this. I wasn't thinking about that. Goodbye, Geo Dude. Goodbye. See you later, buddy. All right. You will soon see. If I can catch this thing, then we will soon see if it's meant to be. But yo, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Everybody, uh, you know, less RNG for the Machop. If we're lucky, we'll get it. 